Are these drugs? Okay, we gotta deal with the police. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. If this is the start of another video, it is because we are waiting in a parking lot for the police officers to come because we found this safe. Spoiler alert for that video. There's drugs inside of it and we're waiting for the police to come. We still don't know what the police are gonna say. I'm gonna be here in Phoenix, Arizona. I missed my flight that's in 30 minutes. So I'm gonna be here for the rest of the day. I thought I should probably do something. I found this storage locker. It has just a trunk. That's it, just a trunk. I'm gonna bid on it right now. I'm gonna win this, hopefully. We're gonna see what's inside of this trunk that's inside of the storage locker. So it has two and a half minutes left. It's at $160. I'm gonna put in a bid right now. What's a good max bid for this thing? How much, how much is worth it for today? I'm gonna say $410. That's my max, I'm putting that in right now. 410, yes bid now. There we go. So it has five minutes, 13 seconds remaining in it. It's at $170. If I win this locker, then that's gonna be the video for today. We're gonna see what's inside of a trunk, a treasure chest inside of Chandler, Arizona. Hopefully it isn't drugs and hopefully it's just cash, full on cash. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, so update for you. If you haven't watched the other video, the police did just come and they left. You gotta go watch the video to see what happened. I was actually surprised by it. While the police were here, it has gone to $210 and we have a few minutes left. Will we get the trunk? We've got a minute and a half left. This could take forever if people continue bidding $10. My bid was $410, it's at $210. All right, let's just watch this one down. It's at a minute and 14 seconds left. Oh, somebody bid! All right, we're at $230. This could take a while. If it's more than $410, I don't know that it's worth it. Let's see if this is actually a video for storage lockers on the safe. Five, four, three, two, one, $270. <laughs> I own it. it. Oh, you got it. I got it. That was oh, it. Oh, nice, dude. $270. It looks like a pirate's chest. I hope like there's treasure in I hope it's pirate treasure or just a funny pirate outfit. That would work too. <laughs> so, we'll make Derek wear it. <laughs> <laughs> it's 10:15 a.m. right now. My flight's not till 8:30 p.m. So, I've got a full day. Look at this chest though. I'm zooming in on it right now. I'm doing a screen record. It's just this old chest and that's the only thing inside of this locker. I don't know. It's kind of fascinating to me. It's worth the adventure. We just had a great adventure again. I'm plugging this video again, but go watch the other video. It was crazy what just happened. Drugs. All right, hand it back to Derek and run. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe this one is set up to be crazier. Treasure chest adventure. Looks like there's like some wood chips on the ground maybe. Maybe somebody tried to get into this thing or maybe they broke into it somehow. I don't know. Treasure chest. Okay, let's go to the storage locker and buy this thing. Okay, we made it to, it looks like it's an extra space storage. Let's go find this trunk. I just I just realized we literally have do not have enough room inside of this car to put the trunk in. Yes, I know I have a small car. <laughs> Can you do, is there like an Uber truck? Okay, so this is the greatest thing about this car. I've never seen this in a car. When you're buying a car, say you go on like Auto Trader or Car Gurus, you go on there and you select two door, or four door. Well, this car does not fit either one of those categories. Check this out. You've got one door, two door, and then you've got three door. There is not a door right there. There is no door. Is that why you bought this car? Yeah, had to be unique, I guess. <laughs> had to be unique. It is nice for the driver though, because this door's extra long. That one's a short door on the other side. Oh. So it's easier to get out. It opens a lot wider. It's it's super nice. It's terrible for the backseat people, because they all have to like slide across the whole bench just to get <laughs> in the car. So literally, yeah, it's all about Steven. All right, extra safe space storage. We bought this trunk. Hopefully it'll fit inside of the car. I'm gonna go pay the money and let's get the storage locker. Okay, we are at the storage locker. It's D134. This is it. I'm excited. These are like the smaller ones, but inside of it is just the pirate treasure chest. The story is it's been here for a few months. The person kept calling and said that they were going to come pay. We're seeing a sign here. People say that they want this. They really want this chest to restore. And so there is some intrigue about what's inside of it. The good thing about a lot of these storage lockers is that all they're allowed to do is cut the lock off when somebody's late with it or whatever. Then they open it up, they take pictures, and legally they're not allowed to go inside of it. Unfortunately, you do see with some facilities where the managers 
don't really stick to that and they, you can tell that it's been tampered with and they've gone in and taken some items. But you can tell that a lot of the ones we've gone to, including this one, that it is not tampered with. Like they really want to know and they're just as curious as we are of what's inside of it. And that's usually a good sign. That tells me that whatever's in it is in it. That's what the customer had. They've never put anything inside of this other than that chest since they got this within the last year. So I'm optimistic. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. that thing is old looking. And it's huge. Okay. It's ginormous. The top of it is like metal on there. The manager of the store in soccer, he um, told me that this person really wants this. He doesn't know if she wants to restore it or what, but he did say that there's a place here on site where he keeps personal items for things. So we could potentially just leave it for the person. And I, um, I don't know, like, or maybe somebody would buy it. Would you want to sell this? It looks cool. I, yeah, we can put it up. Well, let's see what's in it. Let's see what's inside it. So, okay. The big unveil. <sighs> you ready for this? Yeah. There's no lock on $270 it. Two hundred and seventy dollars is what we spent on this. Is it worth it? Is there something inside of it? Whoa. Oh man. What? This is the interesting. Artwork. Very intricate. It is cool. It's unique. Wow, she might, there's nothing in this layer. Oh wow. Oh, it literally <laughs> is just a chest. <laughs> nothing inside of it. Just a really unique old antique chest. Like maybe there's some sort of historical value with this, but um, nothing in there. There's nothing literally valuable. Empty. <laughs> just a wooden box. So this is around $60 just for this storage locker per month. And you're paying to store this wooden chest. So to someone it has value. To somebody has value. I am not that person. Uh, it's pretty, yeah. it's cool. Maybe some of you guys are looking at us in the, this in the comments and you're like, that's amazing. This is from, I, I mean, it is metal on the top. That's nice. Yeah. Well, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, but every time is it an adventure when we see what's inside of different things, different storage lockers that have been abandoned. It's fun. Let us know in the comments. Do you know much about this type of trunk? I'd love to know more about it. I got stuck in Phoenix for the day, so I bought a wooden box. And now we gotta figure out how to get it out of here. Steven, thanks for your help today, man. Yeah, of course. There you go, that's it. Thanks for watching. I wish they could see you, like, in this car. It's like Mr. Incredible in the Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, He's really going for it here, Lady in the Tramp style.